Hi everyone, we're back for another holiday theme set. At the time of filming, it's about six days away from Christmas. So I thought we'd do a Christmas carol. And I completely forgot I had this set. I've had it for a couple of years. I believe this was another gift with purchase. So you can't actually buy this unless you find it on the uh, aftermarket. There's 333 pieces in this set. This set has a storybook because, you know, Charles Dickens was originally wrote A Christmas Carol. It was a, a book or a series of short stories. So there's a book, a little bit of a diorama, and three minifigs. And there's also a little bit of a hidden feature in here, which we'll get to in a minute. So let's just get right into building. Now, unfortunately, there is a rather large sticker sheet for this set. I was kind of hoping some of the book element, like the bindings and everything here, would be printed, but unfortunately not. Also, unfortunately, due to the way this set was packaged, the sticker sheet got a little bit crumpled. Shouldn't matter too much, but sometimes when the stickers are bent, it makes them more difficult to go on. We'll start with the minifigs first. I've already got everything out of the bags. Get the minifigs done, and then we'll get right into building the main set. First minifig I'll do is Tiny Tim. Gotta find the right face for Tiny Tim. Whoops! Heads always try to roll away. Not sure which one to pick. They all look about the same. I'll use this one because he's got little dirt smudges on his face. Oh, I've already made a mistake. Oh, it's hard to get, pop his head off there. He's got his little scarf to go on here first. And then his head goes on. And his hair. Oh, his legs put on there more. There's Tiny Tim. And we'll do Scrooge. Got a nice umbrella brick element. His face should be easy. And he's got a top hat. Ooh, I love this top hat. That is that is quite a large hat. It's bigger than the other top hat bricks I've seen. They've been a bit shorter. And now we do. Bob Cratchit. His hair on. There we go. Oh, and I forgot Tiny Tim's got a little cane. So there's our minifigs. Standing up here. Bit of a stopping point here to show this uh, initial construction of the base. We got some nice decorative brick elements around the side with these ridges in it. And there's a slot in here. There's actually going to be a drawer in here, which is a nice feature for a small set like this. And we've got our first stickers to be applied. I'll get this assembled here first because it's actually going to be easier to put the sticker on with a larger assembly to hang on to. So I believe these are identical. And the stickers are gonna go on the green pieces here. And it's these ones. 
Again, I don't like stickers. I'm not sure you'll find any Lego enthusiast who is ever happy to see stickers. These ones aren't too bad to put on because they're very narrow. I still don't think I have them completely parallel to the piece I'm putting them on and of course I'd rather not have them on at all just because it limits the use of the piece in a later build and I think I've mentioned in a really early video I did over many many years stickers tend to kind of dissolve and come off so that's not good either now these so this just shows some of the decorative binding and that goes on the front here. Figure out exactly how that's going to sit. Is it aligned with the outside? Like that? Yeah, that should be right. Looks okay. Just again, I don't like the stickers. stickers so we've got I don't want to do this this way this is the one I really was hoping would be printed this is why it's so hard to put stickers on because they tend to like automatically suck towards the piece or your fingers No, that's not right. I want a little bit away from the edge. Ah. Uh, not the best application, but. And this one says Charles Dickens. Be another difficult one to put on. No, I can tell that's already going to be bad. Yeah, see, both of those are not perfectly straight. Uh, now this slides in here. Should slide in here. There we go, just a tight fit. Why there's a drawer, not sure, but looks okay.
Did I put those on upside down? <laughs> I put all of these on. All right, so. That makes more sense for them to go this way, sloping down. So this was right, I just had to put it this way. Well, that makes much more sense. We are done. I'm gonna go ahead and put you know the Scrooge there. We'll get Tiny Tim inside and we'll put Cratchit inside as well. There's a lot of really cool details in this set for something so small. So here's the overall finished product. Rotate it around. I love the details on the outside. Even down to this tiny little garden grate. So overall, we got the base. We've got, for whatever reason, a drawer here. Not sure why, but it's nice to have a little moving feature. And the details in particular I like. First, on the outside, these little snow bricks, for something so tiny, they look really nice. I, I love the grate, just the detail on it. We got our lamp, tiny little spruce tree outside, this kind of like roof slate detail. The windows are great. For whatever reason, two printed bricks, these little looks like a, a cut piece of wood so you can see the pattern in the wood those are printed everything else is a sticker little lantern here which is a great detail as well on the inside we've got our fireplace with a wreath two candles and the tiny tiny little sad christmas tree no decorations just a really thin tree so this is obviously depicting Scrooge coming to Cratchit's house. What's missing here is like a giant turkey or Christmas goose or something like that. Anyway, for something so small, they packed a lot of detail in here. Even this wall detail that, that jags over with the hinge elements on the top is a great, great way of doing that as well. So there's quite a few interesting build features in here. A lot of great details, three great little minifigs. It's actually too bad you can't buy this. I'm pretty sure you can't. Overall, I really am quite impressed with this set. I might keep it on display for a while, but eventually it will get taken apart for parts because there's a lot of great parts in here too. A lot of textured elements, not so, Great with the stickers, but I'll find a home for the for them as well. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.